I'm here with Georgia Murray, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit today about Voice Life Play. You've had it for a little while now, a little bit ahead of the public, so you've uh, had a little sneak peek. Yeah. And I'm sure some questions and stuff have probably come up along the way. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun playing with it so far. It's super user-friendly, which cool. for me is fabulous. <laughs> I think for most people <laughs> yeah. it's fabulous. Um, one thing, um, I guess, to start it off genre, I was kind of confused exactly what it means sure. and how to get there and what is inside of it once you are there. So maybe okay. we could just you want to check it out? It. Yeah, totally. Okay, awesome. So the way that we sort of think of it is that genre is like groups for the presets. Okay. So um, we've grouped things by musical styles. We've grouped them by effect styles. So if you wanted to just find presets with reverbs on them, you could find them there. Okay. Um, so let's start out by just heading into genre. So we just hit the genre button there. Okay. And then screen changes, obviously, and you're on the all genre, which is all. <laughs> so um, why don't we think of a song that you should sing? Um, Adele, Rolling in the Deep. Okay. I kind of not that that's popular. Nobody's yeah, ever heard of that nobody's song. Nobody's heard so, of that okay. song. It's totally <laughs> not done super well at all. <laughs> so she'd be um, under the songs and artists genre. So okay. I've just used a little control knob here to get over to songs so and artists. So there's different kinds of like songs and artists and then like rock or yeah, there's different totally. genres in that sense, meaning like types of music kind exactly. of? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So like there's a pop one, there's a rock one. Oh, okay. So we'll go to the songs and artists, and then we'll just hit the flashing genre button to back out here. Okay. And then now you notice it says songs and artists up here. Okay. When you start moving through the presets, there are a lot of songs and artists, so they'll probably be pretty sequential, but okay. you may find out that you skip a few. So you'll be like, oh, I'm on number 45, and it jumps to number 52 or something like that. And it's because in that chunk of, of presets you no longer see, there were some rock ones or right. some ones that are not songs and artists. Makes sense. So we'll take a little boo here through. See what we can find. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There I'm go. pretty good. On so, it. why don't you just <clears throat> grab the mic and do a little sing of Rolling in the Deep and we'll hear how it sounds. There's a fire starting in my heart, cool. reaching a fever pitch, and it's bringing me out the dark. There you are. Cool. So, I was just turning up the, um, the gain on the side there because I wasn't quite seeing the green LED light up. Okay. So, I was like, oh, okay, she's not got enough level there. So, I wanted to hear you come so through. So, the gain is right. Yeah, just on the, on the side, side here, and you just keep turning it up I until you see the green that. light. That's amazing. And yeah. my older one, you had to go into the screen and find something. It wasn't exactly. super accessible, so that's awesome. Yeah, and so if you go into the yellow, it's okay. If it starts turning red, then you want to yeah. back it off because you're clipping things. Okay. Um, so yeah, what you heard there was the reverb on it. And then what we've done for all of these presets is we've added another layer of, of effect on top. So okay. we assign that to the hit button. So if you hit the hit button and then mm. sing again, there's a fire starting in my heart. Oh, I hear the delay. Right. Reaching the fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark. Cool. Nice. So what we've done then is we've said, okay, well, there's a reverb most of the way through the song, and then there's this delay that comes on. So how do we make that happen so you can kind of bring it in and out? Uh, oh, so we'll I can put it sing on the like hit the, button. The verses with just the reverb and then totally. coming into the chorus or off the tail end of a phrase or something, boom, exactly. hit, and then I'll get that bit of delay. Yeah. And so what might happen after that is you might say, oh, I, I kind of dig the delay, but it's not loud enough, or there's not enough, or whatever it is. So you would go into effects here, okay. and all of a sudden you see all the effects screens, and there's seven different effects within the box. Okay. So you can go from micromod, which is like our, our chorusing and flanging and that kind of stuff, okay. um, all the way through all the harmonies and that kind of thing. But let's focus on delay right now. So we'll find delay just by using these little buttons back and forth. And you'll notice up here, there's a level. Okay. So if you wanted more delay, you can mess with the control knob there and turn it up. <clears throat> there's a fire starting in my heart. And if you turn it way up. There's a fire. So it's way more obvious, starting right? Starting in my heart. And what you'll find oh. often is that people will turn up the effects quite loud to begin with. And then they'll realize, oh, it sounds a bit better if I just kind of sink it into the subtle. back somewhere. I kind of make it subtle. I'm never yeah. subtle. Let's be honest. <laughs> So another control within uh, delay is feedback, and if you push the little buttons next to each of these segments, you see how they the, they change them oh, and they okay. light so up. So once right? I'm on the lit up screen, that's when I can. Yeah, like that's what the knob does exactly. Okay. So if, the feedback is essentially the number of of delays that happen. So a lot of feedback will make the delays go on for a lot longer, which can be a cool effect or it can be really annoying. Right. So why don't we turn it way up and we'll just get the sense of what that sounds like? <clears throat> hey, 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 hey. See how it just keeps going and hey, going. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> There you go. So, <laughs> yeah, and then your laughing goes on and on. So that's kind of a cool thing. You can get in there and actually mess with the type you of effect like that it is. You can fully control almost every element of totally. the effect. That's Including awesome. the style, which is sort of the main part of, of each of these effects. So if you go oh, in, it's a good, oh, Yeah, okay. so see the style says quarter note. I push the button next to it, right, to so highlight that. So how quick that. the delay is yeah, or the, is not. The style. So there's, there's eighth note. Hey. And oh, then so it's quicker. Triplets. Hey. 
Oh, that was really kind of quick. more like blended. Sounds. And then if we get into something like these ping pongs, and we'll sort of turn it up here. Hey. And they'll go oh, kind of all over the place. Penny kind yeah, of these. exactly. So there's a cool. whole bunch of different ones that you can mess with. Wow. And uh, the last thing here is the way you control it. Okay. So there's three different controls. You've got off. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there. Does it still have the kind of? It still has oh, the, still reverb, the reverb because that's reverb the actual, is separate. Right. Right. So nice. the reverb is a separate effect. Okay. Cool. So you've got on, which means that it's on all the time. So it'll just be on all the way through the song. So in this Adele example, reverb is on all the time. Right. And it's always going on. And then the third control is hit. And so and that means just when I hit it, it will come on. Exactly. Brilliant. Yeah. Cool. So let's check out some of the other effects in here. So we've got, if I keep moving along here. We've obviously got reverb and it's got all the same controls so we've okay. made it so it's like super consistent right so the level is the amount of reverb you know and you can more or less decay is a good one to know as well we still got that delay going i'll turn it off <laughs> i was like <laughs> this is what's going on <laughs> so the decay is the amount of time it takes for the reverb to go away okay so a long decay is like being in a big church or an arena or something like that where like your voice is just bouncing around for ages right so we turn it way up and he's saying we like hey there's a fire Starting in my heart. Hear how long it goes on for? Right, okay. Right, okay, so short decays hey. sound like rooms. Oh, right, it's like hardly even there. It's like being in a bathroom or a studio or, you know, a little vocal booth, that kind of thing. So within the styles, you'll notice that the decays change. So obviously, depending on what kind of room we're trying right. to if make Right, if you want to be like. in like a big, huge, or like you have different things where in, in the reverb, where you want to sound like you're in some giant stadium or in a big church yeah, or in totally. your bathroom or And whatever. then from there, you could use that decay control to kind of tweak it the way you want. Oh. So people will tweak things so that the decay ends up falling on the beats, you know, like the, the, the decay is gone by the next beat and right. that, you know, little tricks like so that. So you can really manipulate it to the like nth degree. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So let's move on and check out something else here. Okay. Um, so harmony. Okay. So this is sort of the, the, the big bad boy yeah. in, our, in what we do here. Um, the, uh, the issue of course we'll run into with this one is we aren't actually listening to Adele. So we'd have to figure out what key you're in. Hey, this is actually a good, good time. We can zip over to practice real quick and we'll find you a note. Oh. <laughs> so, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll set you an A or something. You, is that a good note to sing on? Can you do that again? Or do you want to go higher? Where, well, where are we starting this, the Adele one? I was like, this, this. Ah, oh, that's as high as it goes. We got to go lower. There we it's go. An F. Oh, it's an All right. F. Thank God for the F. I'll, I'll pretend that we have perfect pitch and then we'll just like cut that so it shows <laughs> yeah, up right. perfectly. Oh, yeah, I'm like, oh that's an, an F. F sharp. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the, the key here within the harmonies okay. to F just because we don't have any other source coming in. If I had an, um, an MP3 player coming in, right. it would listen to it and go, or oh, if, this like, song's an F. Or if I was playing F. guitar, totally. it would hear the guitar and match the key, but because I'm exactly. a cappella, yeah, You've got to and the key. you don't really want wonky harmonies because that course, makes for that excellent demonstrations. Totally. This is my abstract <laughs> piece. To... So same deal, right? You've got off, on, or hit. Okay. Often harmonies sound the best when they're on the hit button because then you can punch them in and out wherever you want to. Okay. So you don't necessarily want a harmony all the time. No. So we'll start with a high harmony that's basically a third up. So if we turn on the hit button. There, there's a fire. fire, fire. And we still got a delay. Right, so what's happening now is that the harmony and the delay are both turning on at the same time. Oh, okay. Right, because they're both set to hit. But I could go back to the delay yeah. and turn off the hit totally. if I didn't want the delay. Yeah. And then when I pressed hit, it would only bring on the harmony. Let's do it. So we're back on delay. Okay. Right, go over to hit, turn it off. Okay. So now it's not going to come on at all, ever. Mm -hmm. And then we go back over to harmony, and then we hit. turn the hit button on. There's a fire starting in my heart. Right, and nice. then you could, so you might, what you might want to do is like, say sing the line again. There's a fire starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch, and it's bringing me out the dark. So you, see, you see how you're nice. bringing it out, right? Oh, you can yeah. like, it's like live mixing. We're exactly. just doing it all on the fly. Yeah, and normally, I mean, I'm doing it with my hands here just to demonstrate. But I could be tapping it with my foot on stage. Th that's the or, intent. Or, hello. Oh, yeah, maybe we should talk about this whole mic this control thing. Oh, fancy. Right here. So yeah, the, the MP75 that you're um, so d deftly uh, demonstrating there um, does have a button on it and the button can control the hit button. Nice. So you can set it up so that if you're a singer that you know doesn't have an instrument so you're not encumbered that way and you've just got the mic, you can just bang that button whenever you want that something to come so in, awesome. which is really cool. Yeah. Um, so let's go through a couple of, there's a bunch of different harmonies that we can get. So we've got up to two voices in this one. So this one would be higher. 
There's a fire starting in my heart. And then we got low. There's a fire starting <laughs> in my heart. And then you can do combinations of, like, there's a few other ones, obviously, but you can do combinations of multiple voices. Reaching like, a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark. That's pretty cool, wow, hey? Wow, that's yeah. so cool.